Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's going to be a range check. So please, I'm just asking if you just quickly hit on that subscribe button and hit on that like button if you found this video helpful. Thank you. Next, I'm going to be looking at range check. Your values must be between two given values. Example, ticket price must be between 10 and 50 pounds. Any value under 10 will not work. Any value over 50 will not work. Oh, let's see what we have next. Uh, so yeah, we typically go to design view and this is the actual validation rule here between 10 and 50. I'm going to show that in a second. So let me go to my database. Let's open, I believe, ticket or ticket type table. Yep, here we have cost. That's already been set as currency and default is probably pounds because I'm in the UK. Yours should be whatever your currency is. I'm going to go to view. I'm going to go down to currency and in validation rule, I'm just going to do between, let's say, 0 and 50. So no value below 0 should obviously... Let's, let's make it 10. Let's make it sensible, right? Validation text, price is too high or too low. Something like that. To save it, I'm going to click on view. It's going to ask me if I want to save it. I'm going to choose yes. Back in my table here, I'm going to try and enter... Let's try and enter nine pounds first. Try to move on. It does not work. Price is too low or too high. I'm going to go OK. Let's try enter 51 pounds. Let's try to move on. Same thing. There we go. Price is too high or too low. Now let's try and enter 49 pounds and 99 pence. So 49.99. That should work fine. So when I move on, there we go. No error message. It works perfectly fine. 50 should also work. So let's do 50. There we go. 50 works fine. So anything between 10 should work as well. Uh, if I did 9.99, that's obviously not going to work. Here we go. Uh, 11 pounds. Anything above 10, anything below 50 should work fine. So that's how we do range check for a simple thing like numbers. All right. So now I'm going to just show a quick tip on date and time for range check. So if I go back to my PowerPoint, uh, we have the typical between number one and number two. So in this case, I have zero and 10. We can also do date checks. So I might just show that one and the last one maybe, right? So I'm just going to go back to my database. And again, this is just me showing you how to do it. This shouldn't work for this particular database. I've already created the relationships. I'm only showing you how to do the validation rule for date and time. Um, so it's greater than X date or between X dates. So let's just open ticket table, for example. I'm going to go to view. I want to add a column called date. Now in access, you're not actually allowed to use this word date when creating stuff like this. It might work and it might not work when you're trying to retrieve data. So I'm going to call it my date uh, over here or date of birth. Anything that's descriptive enough to say what the column is going to hold is fine. I'm just going to choose my date. From the drop down list, I'm going to choose date and time. And from here, I'm going to go down to where it says validation rule. And for validation rule, again, it's going to be greater than date, open bracket, close bracket. And that says it has to be greater than today's date. Okay. Now I'm going to test this. It shouldn't work because I've created my relationships already, but the validation rule will work at least. So I can put in my validation rule, date needs to be greater than today. All right. I'm going to go back to view. It's going to ask me if I want to save. I'm going to choose yes. Now back in my table view, I guess, I'm going to click on the calendar icon to the right of my date and I'm going to choose. Oh yeah, it's actually okay. If I choose today's date, it still should not work because remember I said greater than today's date. So if I try to click out of this, here's my error message. Date needs to be greater than today, right? If I go back to, let's say yesterday's date, the first, if I try to click out of it, it still shouldn't work. I'm going to click OK. It has to be, let's say, tomorrow and onwards. So whatever your current date is, it needs to be tomorrow and onwards. Uh, so let's choose the third, for example. If I click out of it, it's still... Sh now, this is a completely different error message. Ignore this for now. When you do your validation rules, this should be fine. Okay? You won't have this issue when you do yours. So that's how to do the validation rule for this one. I'm only using an old table, which I had because I don't want to go ahead and create a brand new one. So this should work fine. So I'm going to get rid of this, but that's how you do date check, a range check. If I go back to my PowerPoint, 
if I do greater than date minus one, the minus one is going to tell me it has to be greater than yesterday. That's what the minus one says because greater than date is today, minus one is yesterday, plus one is then going to be greater than tomorrow. And here we do between the first, okay, let me try this one as well. Let me copy this one in. Between the 1st of the 1st, 2022 and 25th of the 4th, 2022. So anything outside of this shouldn't work. So anything before shouldn't work. Anything after should not work as well. Let me go back to my database. Uh, let me get rid of this. Let me go to my validation rule again. And I'm going to change the validation rule to the one I just copied in. So it should be between these days. So I'm going to choose, let's say, the last day in 2021, which should not work. I'm going to click on my calendar icon, uh, May 2022. I'm going to go all the way back to December 2021. Any of these dates should work because, again, it is before. Um, when I click this, date needs to be greater than today. I did not change the validation text, but whatever text I put here should be displayed.